Hey everybody, and welcome to the Gwanda Middle School Musical Informational Video. Whether you have been with the program before or you're a brand new parent, this video is going to give you some information about how we run a musical here at Gwanda Middle School. Well, if you've been living under a rock and haven't heard, we are doing SpongeBob the Musical Youth Edition, and we are very fortunate to be one of the very first schools in the country to be doing this incredible show. If you don't know me, my name is Mr. Bet. I teach fifth and sixth grade chorus. I teach fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade general music. But most of all, I am the middle school musical director and here to walk you through this information. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about the program, about us. We're going to talk to you about how we audition and what the process students will go through through auditions. We're going to talk about a rehearsal calendar. And then finally, we're going to talk about how you at home can help us out here at our musical. So welcome to our family. Musicals are so much more than just memorizing lines, learning music, and having fun on stage. While those are great things, our program has been proven to show to help kids just come to school, attend school, and stay in school. But it also helps teach some incredible, crucial life skills, such as self-confidence, reliability, leadership, schedule reading, time management, problem solving, and creative thinking, all qualities that employers are looking as students move on through the, their school years and eventually seek out a job. Let's talk about how a Gowanda Middle School student gets cast in the Gowanda Middle School musical. It is our philosophy here at Gowanda Middle School that all of our cast members must be a member of fifth and sixth grade chorus or seventh and eighth grade chorus. Singers need to develop and hone their skill in class so that they can be the best performer they can be on our stages after school. Let's hone in a little bit on fifth and sixth grade chorus. Over the next few days, fifth and sixth grade chorus members are gonna be going through their round one audition. Students will know the class prior to their audition and on the day of their audition, their whole role will audition with them. I'm looking for some basic acting skills that occur right in chorus, like are they focused from bell to bell? Are they actively participating by taking out their music and being in the right singing position? And are they doing the best they can and not getting distracted by the things around them? These are a few of the things I'll be looking for in that audition. Once all students have been given the opportunity to audition, I will then pare down the list of those students to about 30 students to move on to a round two after school audition. In terms of 7-8 chorus, to be a part of the musical, all you have to do is sign up for an audition time outside the music room on the bulletin board. When we move to after school auditions, students will be auditioning in front of a panel of judges consisting of the adults that work on the musical. To get ready for the musical, students will be handed an audition packet that looks a little something like this that includes a ton of information, which includes all the characters, information about the show, but most importantly, their speaking audition, their singing audition, and a contract that needs to be returned signed, hopefully on the day of their audition. If a student has never auditioned before or is kind of looking for some extra tips for their audition, I will be holding an audition help session right after Thanksgiving to help any student out with some tips and tricks on how to really nail that audition and impress the judges. Once that round of auditions is over, round two for five, six, round one for seven, eight, a callback list is going to be posted on Monday, December 12th with the names of students the judging panel wants to hear more from. We heard something, we wanna see if we can develop that a little bit. Callbacks will be on Wednesday, December 14th from 2.15 to 5 p.m. We are really gonna get down and see what the kids can do. We're gonna have them sing, we're gonna have them act, and then Mrs. Shimei, our choreographer, is going to teach them a small dance to see how they can move on stage. The same packet format that they got before, a new packet will be handed out with callback information that they need to look at before Wednesday. We're seeing what students take initiative to go out and learn this new material. Students, again, will be auditioning for the same judging panel, but also they'll be in their auditioning in front of all the students in the room. These are called open auditions and everyone is gonna see everyone in their audition. 
Now, I do have to say, if a student is not on that callback list, please do not worry or get upset. You are still in the musical. Anyone who tries out will be in the musical somewhere, so please do not be sad. We just do not need to hear more from you, and you will find your name on the cast list somewhere. Now, when we go into casting, auditions are done. First round, second round, callback auditions are done. This is when our uh, judges sit down and take hours of discussion to do a cast list. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You got to find the right pieces. And when one piece is, some of the other pieces fit. But if that puzzle piece doesn't fit, you got to rearrange it and try to find the right fit. No decision is made easily or lightly when putting a cast list together. It is imperative though that students do return a signed contract that they will have in their audition packet. This is to help us know that they understand the responsibility of being in a musical, but also how, so for us to know how are they getting home? Are they getting a ride home? Are they getting on the bus home? Are they walking home? So we know where students are and are safe. So let's talk about how you at home can help. It truly takes a village to put on a musical here at Gowana Middle School. If you have never seen one of our shows before, we have a minimum of 120 students on stage, plus high schoolers come back to run our stage crew, sound and lights, plus all the adults. We have a lot of moving pieces and want you to be a part of it, and we are so proud of what we do here at Gowana Middle School. Well, the first way you can do is come and help volunteer for us. In January, we'll be getting a letter that looks a little like this. Here's ours from Dear Edwina last year. And on the second page, is a parent help form where you can check off as many areas where you think you can help. Things like going shopping for costumes with Mrs. Golden, or selling tickets the night of the show, or helping our set builders build the set here in the stage. So there's a lot of options. Choose what you can and where you wanna help, and then give us some contact information below. Also on this form is some musical t-shirts order form. How we highly encourage students to buy a musical t-shirt as an awesome keepsake and a way to advertise our show, but whole families can buy a musical t-shirt. You can just fill out this form accordingly on how many shirts you would like to buy and send your money. And again, this will come out in January after the holiday break. Another incredible way, if you don't want to volunteer, is you could buy a patron ad or a business ad in our program. Here's our program from Dear Edwina last year, and we have two different styles of program ads. The first ad is called a business ad, where you can see it's basically a business card size. We do offer bigger sizes if you contact us that would like a bigger size, but businesses put their business card in the program as a way of advertising. The other great way is called a patron ad. Here are our patron ads in the musical, and they are just one-liners from your family to your actor to your stage crew member of support, of love, of encouragement, something, a message, brief message that you would like to send your actor in our program as well. Another way you can support us is simply come and see our show and buy some tickets to our show. We are changing a little bit this year, coming back to Gowanda Middle School. We are going to move to an assigned seating format. This is a way to lessen the stress by standing in the auditorium crowded where you can buy your ticket ahead of time, know exactly where you're going to sit, and know your seat will be available when you come to see the show. Presale tickets will move online this year to a website called showticksforyou.com and paperwork will be coming home in February on how you can buy these pre-sale tickets. You would just simply go to the website, choose the date you wanna see the show, a huge diagram of our auditorium would come out, choose the seats that you wanna sit in and pay for your seats right there on the website. It's very professional theater quality website and we're using it here at Gowanda Middle School and we're so excited to move to this new format. If you can't do this online format, tickets will still be available at the door, still in the assigned seating format, and you can buy your tickets at the door. So where are some reliable sources you can find information? Well, number one, all of our actors will be enrolled in our Schoology musical group. And once your actor is enrolled, you as a parent can join as well. So to show you really quickly, you would come here to Schoology. Your student will be enrolled in the group. And once you get into the group, you can get the access code as a parent to join. Here is where we are going to post all audition music for auditions, 
all forms that come home will be located here in the musical in the resources tab on the left over here. And there it is, already things there for you. You can check out our brand new GMS musical website. It's an incredible website where we're gonna basically do the same thing. If you don't wanna join our musical group at Schoology, you can go to our new website. Simply come here to the Gowanda Central School District website. You're gonna click students at the top and go to extracurricular activities. Once at this next page, you can scroll over to where it says middle school musical, click that title and it will take you to our middle school musical website where we're gonna put a ton of information. There's an about us section of what we do. You get to see our musical staff, all the adults that are working with our students. You get to see information. Here is where you'll see information about our current musical. Right there you can see our reveal of SpongeBob the musical that we did in chorus. And then the cool thing is we have a archive of every show Gowanda Middle School has done all the way to 1977 with the boy who stayed in bed. Some of them do have a program, so if you click the year and it's clickable, a program will pop up and you can see the program from that year, which is pretty incredible. Paper versions of all forms and calendars are always handed to every student. If you need extra copies, please contact me and I can easily send extra copies home with your young actor. Oh. That concludes our brief informational video from today. If you have any questions or ever need to contact me, please email me, mrbet at gcslearn.org. That's the quickest way I can get back to you. Or if you need to chat on the phone, there's my phone number at 532-3325, extension 6129, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait for you to come see SpongeBob the Musical Youth Edition here on March 15th and 16th at the Gowanda Central Auditorium. Thank you so much for your support, and see you at the show.